everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Journey Map in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Journey Map, getting installed, setting it up, all of that awesome stuff in this video. What is Journey Map? Well, it is of course a mini map for Minecraft here. And if we go over here and check out the wiki, you can see some of the awesome customization that it has. So here we are. And then if you come down here to the Use the Options Manager, you'll be able to see, look at all this different customization that you can change and rearrange and do with this mini map that many mini maps don't have. Some of them are a little feature lacking, especially the ones that update quickly. Journey map takes a while and that's because it does have so many different options. Here are all of them. Quite a few. It's ridiculous how many options this actually has. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and get it set up in Minecraft 1.15.2. First though, we do have a much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Get an incredible 24-hour DLOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you're looking for a great server to enjoy Journey Map with your friends on, or just have a good time playing Minecraft with your friends and your own sort of server, you don't have to worry about you know anything else like rules or anything. It's your own server. Well, you can check out Apex to do that. Again, their link is the first one in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Journey Map. What we want to do is go to this link, which is actually going to be the second link down below. And once you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand sidebar and scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.15. See that Minecraft 1.15 section? Once you find that, come under it and you'll see Journey Map. That's a Journey Map version there. Then click the purple download button to the right of that. That's then going to take us off where our download will start in just a few seconds. And then the download is automatically going to start, and it will download in the bottom left on Google Chrome and in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now, on Google Chrome, you'll need to keep this file in the bottom left. As long as it says Journey Map in the title, it is safe to keep it. On Mozilla Firefox, saving it in the center of your screen is the same process. It is safe to save as long as you have Journey Map in the title. So save it on Mozilla Firefox. Now we need to download one more thing, and that one more thing is, of course, Forge. Forge is how most Minecraft mods work, and basically it is kind of the mod loader that works with Minecraft to make the mods happen, right? Make them install and all that stuff. So what we're going to be doing here is going to this link. This is going to be the third link in the description down below. And when you click on that, it's going to take you here. Now, this is our in-depth tutorial for Forge, and it goes over everything. We've helped almost a million people with this article get Forge, but we're going to be going over the basics in this video. However, you do have any more in-depth issues, this is going to work. Be like, be where you're going to fix those. So once you're here, go ahead and click on the green download Forge button. That's then going to take you off to Forge's official website, where you want to confirm that it says MC 1.15.2 here. If it doesn't, no worries. Click on the plus 115 section over here, and then click on 1.15.2. Then what you want to do is come under download latest here, and click on the installer button. So under download latest, click on installer. And when you click on that, it's going to go ahead and take us off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page, right? Don't click anything. Not a thing. No, your download's not ready. It's lying to you. Your download is not ready. All you want to do on this page, period, is click the red skip button in the top right. That's all you want to do. Don't click anything else but the red skip button in the top right. And that red skip button isn't going to appear uh, for at least six, seven seconds after you load this page. So wait six to seven seconds and then click the red skip button in the top right. When you do, Forge will automatically download in the bottom left. You will need to save or keep this file. On Google Chrome, you're going to click keep in the bottom left as long as it has Forge in the title. As you can see, it says Forge in the title, so we are good to click keep here. Now on Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the center of your screen where you just want to click save and then you're good to go. Now we can finally minimize our browser and on our desktop here we do have Journey Map and we also have Forge. I have these unconfirmed things, that's just because they are still downloading, but that's not going to matter. I'm going to drag them to the sec like side because they're going to be done downloading by the time I show you where they're at if they're not in your on your desktop, right? So these are on my desktop. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries, they're going to be in your downloads folder. And to find that, click the little Windows icon it's in the top left for me, but it's in the bottom left of your screen, so click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen and then when you click on that go ahead and type in downloads and then have this downloads file folder click on that and in here you will find journey map and forge you can drag them to your desktop just for ease of use now once these are on your desktop we're going to be starting off with forge now go ahead and right click on forge click on open with and then you should have java here if you don't or if you do and you click ok and it doesn't work or if these don't look like this right they look like you know book files or zip files or anything other than these Java logo coffee cups, what do you do? Well, we have a solution, of course, and in the description you will find this. This is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It's helped over a million people get the correct version of Java set up on their computer, and it goes through everything here. Now, if you do go through that tutorial, which is the first step, you need to do that no matter what if you're having issues. And if you go through that and it's still not working, then you need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is make all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again. So it's going to take all those .jars, like the ones you just downloaded Forge, for example, and make them work with Java correctly. 
After you've done that, you can come back here, finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Forge Mod System Installer here, where you want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's then going to go through, download some things, do some stuff, set some things up that it needs to run Java in, or not Java, excuse me, Forge in Minecraft and make everything work, work together and perfectly. So as you can see there, it is installing, it says it's finished, but it's not, that's normal. And then eventually it will say complete and say successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version 1.15.2. Awesome, that's what we want to see. That means it's work. Click OK. And now we can go ahead and get Journey Map installed. To do that, what we want to do is go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we're in the Minecraft launcher here, what we want to do is click on the little arrow to the left of the play button, that little arrow there. When you click on that, you should have a Forge profile. If you do, go ahead and click on it and click play. But Nick, I don't have a Forge profile. What do I do? Well, don't freak out about it. It's OK. Just click on installations here. And then what you want to do is click on the plus a new button right there. See that plus new? Click on that. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server. It's a network server with two survival servers, aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy, MCMMO and jobs, and a medieval survival with a player based economy. 30 custom quests, and overall a fun time. We also have custom skyblock with fence gems, OP enchants, and 100% custom island challenges, crates, all of that awesome stuff. And then last but not least, we do have factions coming out next month that is going to be 100% custom. We have spent hundreds of hours working on factions, put so much time and effort into the bills, into the customization into making everything truly unique and an incredible factions experience. So come play with us. PlayNarBreakdownCraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. Now what we want to do is click on this latest release drop down here. And when we click on that, we want to go ahead and find release 1.15.2-forge. As you can see, here it is. If you have multiple ones, just click the one closest to the top. So release 1.15.2-forge there. Click on that. I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution. That way you all can see once we get in game. And then click create in the bottom right. Now you'll have at the very, very bottom play.breakdowncraft.com or whatever you called your profile. But most importantly, it should say 1.15.2-forge under it. If it does, go ahead and come over and click the green play button. Now Forge is going to open up and this will allow us to install Journey Map in Minecraft and get everything up and running and working and all that stuff. So as you can see, completed deep scan of Forge. That means that basically it's opened up. Forge is recognized that's what's happening here. And this is actually the Forge mod loader loading everything before Minecraft opens. So if we go ahead and click that, there we go. We can see everything is opening up. We've got all this stuff happening and we can see it all happening here with Forge. Now once you're on the main menu of Minecraft here, you'll have this mods tab. Click on that mods tab and in the bottom left, you have an open mods folder button. Go ahead and click on the open mods folder button and then you'll have this mods folder open. You'll be able to see it says mods up there. Now all you need to do to install Journey Map is take it from your desktop and drag and drop it into this mods folder. So take Journey Map from your desktop, drag and drop it into the mods folder and boom, you're done. Except if you come back to Minecraft, it's not here and it's not going to show up until you quit Minecraft. Open up the Minecraft launcher, except this time, all you have to do is click the little arrow next to the play button. Make sure your Forge profile or your profile you created using Forge is there. It should say 1.15.2-Forge under it. And then go ahead and click play. Now, in this early loading process, we'll actually be able to see, there it is, Journey Map. Complete deep, completed to deep scan of Journey Map. That means it's working. That means it's enabled. That means the mod is recognized by Forge. And now it is going to open up and get everything working. As you can see, it's constructing three mods, one of those being Journey Map. And then once we're on the main menu, we will be able to click and see journey map in our mods folder so if we come in here we'll be able to click on mods and there is journey map now one thing you can do is go into options and go into controls and then scroll down and you'll be able to see all of the journey map controls here and there are a lot of journey map controls as you can see quite a few of them here to make it sure everything's up and running and working and all that stuff so there are quite a few of them right it's kind of insane so Make sure you look over these. For example, Options Manager is O. Now we are going to go ahead and jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com, to check out Journey Map. So when we join in here, the map will appear in the top right. Now we are in Skyblock, so nothing too crazy here. Let's go ahead and switch over to Medieval, because it's got a pretty cool slash spawn that we can check out. So here we are in Medieval, and we'll see the minimap start to generate as we walk around. You see that? As we walk around, the minimap does start to generate up there in the top right. So that's pretty cool. It also shows NPCs there. As you can see, Brookhaven Shopkeeper does show up. So let me go ahead and turn on Fly and kind of just fly around for a second, get that minimap generated a bit, and then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to fly around like here. So come over here. Let's go down, come over here. Can you get some things 
loaded in chunk wise here's the castle get some of that loaded in and now we can really start to see what this looks like here so as you can see all of that going on if we want to open up the options we click O right on our keyboard oh there we go seems like it's not working seems like options isn't working there but you can zoom out of the mini map and change the mini map style so if we come in here and we want to let's say go ahead and I don't know I don't know what we need to do here go ahead and maybe toggle the waypoints with Z or change map type how do we open up the full screen map how is that gonna happen let's see um J is what it says but I have a feeling there we go so there is J okay so that's what we need to do everybody you need to go ahead and hit J and then when you open up J you can access some other stuff here including some of the you know different options by clicking on this options button in the bottom that's then going to open up this where you can change everything sorry about that that's a little different um the reason that's happening that you have to hit j and then click on options from this gui is because that journey map is kind of having you know it's, it's a very new mod i mean as you can see it is a dev version that we're on here it's very very new for 1.15 so some of these are in beta here you can come here and add waypoints and do all sorts of stuff from this setup and uh, basically change anything right change everything change whether it shows animals mobs villagers all this stuff player heads all this stuff can be uh, you know turned off and on there so if we go ahead and click close we will be able to see that now it's not showing players or any of those shopkeepers right all that has been fixed there and uh, that's because we turned it off. So awesome stuff there. That is Journey Map. That's how you can get it set up and running in Minecraft 1.15.2. And come join us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We're currently on Medieval Survival. Aquatic Survival is also there as well. Two incredible grief protected survival servers there. Skyblock is up and running and awesome and just incredible. And then we do have factions coming very, very soon at the beginning of April. So nevertheless, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And I am out. Peace.